What's going on, everybody? We're back at live, me and CBC, on Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Overtime. I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to be going over and talking about in overtime. And hopefully a lot of you guys can make it. I know it's late for the East Coast, but I was trying to get it somewhere to where West Coast wasn't, like, trying to hurry up and, you know, eat a burger or a sandwich down, you know, trying to get home from work. Um, maybe eventually we'll shift it to 10 p.m. Eastern. Let me know if you guys think that'd be better. I mean, I, I'm open for options on to it. Really am if you guys want us to start an hour earlier, especially for East Coast people. But let me know in the comments on to that. But this week, we're going to be hitting a lot of different areas. You're probably looking at a two-hour live stream. Hopefully, you guys can catch the um, rerun or a video of it afterwards. So I talked to Joey a little bit ago uh, today about it. We're we'll be talking market as normal. I also want to talk in depth about PSA's new um, card prices and some stuff that I've heard. A little bit onto it. There's to be some things I can't really say because I don't want to um, put out the wrong information, but there'll be some stuff that I know that's going to be factual. The ne other thing I want to talk about, a lot of people ask me about the how Tops is uh, tripling prices on like some of the pre-order product. I'm going to go more in depth onto that. Uh, a little bit into Panini as well. And the last piece I may touch on, I believe I, the video that I'm about to do on it for earlier this week, um, it deals with a lot of social media influencers in the sports card market to where they're giving a lot of bad information out. And I'm not going to start naming any names and stuff onto it, but I, I want to hit a few areas just to make sure everybody understands where I'm coming from onto it. Um, about being your own, I guess you could say collector. I'm almost going to say be your own man, but I know we also have women that watch this channel. But being your own person, a hobby, and not chasing the rabbit every which way out there. You know, because when you start chasing the rabbit everywhere out there, basically the rabbit's going to get away and, you know, stuff like that. Well, I should be keep on using that for example. I just don't want to see everybody getting burned. I've been doing this since 1984, everybody. I mean, I've been in it for a while. I had some off and on periods because of being in the Army. But I've been pretty much in it for a long time. And I've seen the market shift up and down. I sit there and listen to what some people are making statements. And you have a lot of new collectors in it, in the hobby right now. To where, you know, they might just discover this person from word of mouth or whatever. And they're putting out some information that's bad. It's very, very bad in my eyes. And when you're doing that, you're going to probably end up leaving a new collector or somebody coming back into the hobby with a sour taste in their mouth and leaving. I'm looking at trying to make the hobby safe and educated. And also so that we have a younger generation to keep this going on. Now, I know pricing is going to affect that, but, you know, hand down your collection card, stuff like that will go into it. But I'm going to probably hit into that for a good chunk of time during overtime. Like I said, I do a video that's going to be coming out. It might already be out by the time this video comes out. But I, it's more about being your own person, a hobby, and don't be following everything everybody says out there. And that that's a big thing because that's why I don't like giving a lot of uh, – what I'm buying into. I like to show stuff, but I don't show it all. And because I don't want people jumping in and the next thing you know, the market drives the values up. And I've known people do that. I know people do it all the time. They're like, oh, look, hey, these cards here are up, you know, 30% already. Like, you need to jump on the train, guys. Jump on the train. Next thing you know, the cards are up 60%. You know what they're doing? They're flipping them cards. I think it's bad. I've also heard a lot of bad advice about products, grading companies, and everything else out there. So uh, what I don't hit in the video, I might go more in depth on uh, during overtime. So if you're free that evening, bring some dinner down, beverage of choice. If you need some nicotine, cigarette, dip, whatever it may be, bring it on down. Because it, it may get a little rough in there um, with some of the stuff that myself and Joey will be talking about. I just want to make sure a lot of people are aware. And the last piece I'm going to talk about, if we have time that night, 
is going to be the National. Um, everybody's beating the National up completely. I'm not. My only advice is going to be be careful if you go to the National what you buy. It's fun. It's exciting. If you've never been there, there's so much to do. You're going to need like three, four days because there's so many after-hours events that go on. Trade nights, um, guys going out, drinking nights. You know, stuff goes on to four or five in the morning and lobbies and waiting areas and all that other stuff. So you, it's not a vacation. I'm telling you, a lot of guys spend a lot of hours up working deals and everything else. But if I have time, we're going to cover that as well, too. Uh, one last piece of thing I want to put out. I know it's kind of a little bit separate from overtime. July 17th is going to be auction day, that, or auction slash fixed price selling day. We're going to start on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I, myself and Joey will both be doing it. I'm looking for a couple other people that will be possibly uh, might want to come on to sell some of their stuff, too. So basically, you'll get a Zoom invite, and you'll be able to see all the chat on YouTube type deal. I'm probably going to put this out in my older Facebook group to see if some of them guys want to come in on to it. But if you bought from me or Joey before, or we bought from you, just hit me up with an email. Because I'd like to try to get about four, four or more people involved into it. That way, there's a lot more variety of cards onto it for once a month thing. Consider it being like a virtual card show to where you could buy at and some people can sell at, you know. I, I don't think we'll be able to work trades. I'm still working the trade night thing, too. I'm thinking that might start up in September, in September. All right, everybody. I'm, I'm going way off tangent as normal here. Make sure you guys, if you can, come in check out Overtime. If not, the uh, video is probably going to be about two hours long afterwards. But it's going to cover a lot of different subjects. We've had a lot go on over the past two weeks. I have a huge list to where I started eliminating stuff off of it because I want to hit more of the pertinent things um, up front because we're leading our way into the national. And before the national, we have, I think there's that Hobby Palooza next weekend. I, I wasn't a fan of it the first time, really. I got what they're trying to do. But some people like it, some don't. I mean, I mean, it was cool to hear like Tops and Panini people on there, stuff like that. But then there's also the card show uh, next weekend. It's real big in Kentucky, uh, down in Lexington, where it's just not sports cards. There's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and st all kind of like collectible stuff, comics, and all that. So... We're making our way up to the National. I just want to make sure everybody gets going to go there. You guys are safe out there. You guys don't get uh, picked up a trim card or anything like that out there. All right. See you guys all Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern. Take care.